For this lesson, I'm working with the 0604 Color Wheels Premiere Pro project file. You'll find this with the media associated with this lesson. Double click on the project file to open it in Premiere Pro. Color Wheels allow you to make color adjustments to just the dark or the light areas of an image. The extra control can help you fix more subtle problems in clips and add more nuance to a look you're creating. Let's try it. I'm switching to the Color Workspace, and in the Lumetri Color Panel, I'm switching to view the Color Wheels section. I'm looking at the Travelog sequence in this project, and I'm going to single-click in the Timeline Panel on this Walking on Sands clip to make sure it's selected. In the Lumetri Color Panel, I have three separate color wheels. One for the shadows, that's the dark pixels, one for the midtones, and one for the highlights, that's the bright pixels in the image. The blue sky in this clip is around about the midtones. So as I hover the mouse cursor over this midtones color wheel, you can see a control puck appears. That's that little plus symbol in the middle. And I'm going to drag that towards the blue side of the color wheel. And right away you can see the result. I've got a stronger blue color in that sky. I'm going to use the highlights control to add some warmth to the sand, which is in the brighter pixels. You'll notice that the control pucks move very slowly, and this is by design. It helps you to apply a more nuanced result. Now let's take a look at another example. I'm going to the Ninja Sonic sequence. If this isn't open on your screen, you'll find it in the project panel. And I'm going to take a look at this fourth clip, which already has an effect applied. I can see that because it's got the effects badge lit up in purple. I'm going to remove that effect by single clicking on the clip to select it. And I'm going to go to the effect controls panel. I'm going to select the effect and press delete. Now, again, with that clip selected, I'm single clicking to make sure it's selected in the timeline panel. I'm going back to the Lumetri color panel and I'm going to adjust just the midtones. I can see by eye that there's a magenta color cast on this clip. So I'm going to move the control puck away from that color. And very quickly, you see we get a more natural looking result. Fixing a color cast in this way by just adjusting the midtones means that you can still have some color in the shadows and the highlights if it's there. And this can give you a more interesting result. You'll notice that there are sliders next to each of these color wheels. And these allow you to make the shadow, midtone, and highlight areas in the picture brighter or darker. I'm going to pull down the shadows and lift up the highlights. And I suppose this is just a more subtle way of adjusting the contrast in the picture. Now I'm happy with the result. I'm going to go back to the editing workspace to continue working on my project. You'll tend to get the best results if you experiment a little pushing the colors too far, and then coming back to get a more natural result. Once you're familiar with the color wheels, you're on your way to mastering color adjustments in Adobe Premiere Pro.